Hello guys, welcome to the wireless LAN video series. This is the first video in wireless LAN video series videos. In this video, we are just going to see how to connect your laptop with the nearby access point. Along with this, I will be also sh showing how to find out which access points are present, how to find out which ad hoc or peer to peer connections are present surrounding you, as well as I will show where in windows you are supposed to give the security settings and which security settings are easily available with windows not going to explain security in detail in this video the aim of this video is just to be able to connect with the access point so let's see with the demo itself here i have actually opened the network connections you can find this you can find these network connections in your control panel. To open the control panel, you have to click the start button of your Windows machine and click the control panel. After entering into the control panel, you will be able to see network connections. Just click on that network connection tab and something similar window will open on your machine. First connection is local area connection or an Ethernet connection which is also called as IEEE 802.3 connection. Second connection is wireless network connection. It's a IEEE 802.11 or popularly known as Wi-Fi connection. To see which all wireless networks are present nearby to me, I have to double click on this wireless network connection. Let me go ahead and double click here. Now all these are the wireless connections present surrounding me. Okay. Now, there are two types of wireless connections. First are infrastructure connections and second are ad hoc connections. Now, in infrastructure connection, the station or the client gets connected with the access point and access point actually does the transformation from wired side to wireless side. So, in simple words, IEEE 802.11 or Wi-Fi connections are simple translators from wired domain to wireless domain. So a simple access point or a dumb access point has to simply relay the packets seen on wireless side to wired side and wired side to wireless side. It's a simple bridge network which is bridging between wired and wireless domains. Second type of connection is called ad hoc or peer to peer connection. In these connections, two laptops or two computers actually get connected with each other and transfer the data. First type of connections or infrastructure connections are more popular in enterprise domain or in home environment. Access points or infrastructure connections are made to get the internet connectivity. The second type of connections which are ad hoc connections are more popular for transferring some files between two peers if i want to transfer some file to my friend's machine the simplest way is to form an ad hoc network between my computer and my friend's computer and i will share the file now windows distinguishes between these two connections with the symbol this symbol is for infrastructure connection and let me see if any ad hoc guy is there. Yes, there are two ad hoc guys, HP setup and Amit hyphen ad hoc. So this icon is shown for ad hoc connections, two laptops talking with each other. Now, if you see these infrastructure connections bit carefully, in some connections, a uh, lock security lock is being shown. And in some connections, there is no security lock. Okay. So the security lock will be shown for all the APs which are providing secured access. Currently, I have put my AP securitytube.net to be open AP because I want to first demo the open connection. Only after showing how I am able to connect with the open AP, I will show the encrypted connection. Okay. So these all connections are with encryption with the lock windows is also saying which type of encryption or which type of security is supported by that access point so 
Skizzle is supporting WPA and some other access points are supporting WPA2 and so on. Incidentally, these two ad hoc connections are open connections. Generally, you will find that ad hoc connections are open connections because they will persist for small amount, small amount of time for just transfer of some file or something. Okay. Now let me go ahead and get connected with SecurityTube.net. Windows is showing me a warning. You are getting connected with unsecured network SecurityTube.net. Information sent on this network is not encrypted and might be visible to other people. Let me ignore this warning and say connect anyway. I will explain about security in forthcoming videos. In this video, I am just going to show how to connect with the wireless access point. It is now acquiring network address. Now the now and it is connected. Okay. Now securitytube.net was a bridge AP. It was a simple bridge between wired and wireless side. I have actually connected my service providers ethernet cable to that AP. So I got a IP address from that AP which is actually provided by my service provider itself. Let me go ahead and open a command prompt. Ping some machine say google.com and yes I am able to ping google.com. I have got the internet connectivity with the help of this AP. As you have seen other connections there was no connection with my laptop. My ethernet connection was also off. I have now got connected with this access point and now I am able to access the internet. Okay. Now important question. What exactly Windows has done? Let's go ahead and see the advanced settings. Now these are the advanced settings. Let's click on wireless networks. There is one entry made securitytube.net in the preferred network list. Uh, I can see the properties of this entry. Now the SSID is securitytube.net which I only have asked it to connect. The authentication is open and encryption is disabled. Okay. Now if I want to change some settings, I can give the authentication as shared authentication. And also I can change the things as WPA, WPA, PSK, WPA2, PSK and WPA2 as my security settings. Okay. And in uh, encryption I can change it to web. Okay. Now in authentication I can actually provide 802.1x type of authentication. Okay. Actually let me go ahead and make it WPA2. Okay. I am now connecting to authentic. I am now clicking on authentication. I can give some EAP types. Currently, only PEEP is shown. Windows actually by default provides only PEEP as my EAP type. EAP is extended authentication protocol. And if I click on properties, I will be able to see all my certificate certification authorities supported by this client. I can add it. I can add any certification authority also. Let's not go ahead in deep in this video itself. Let's keep this video very simple getting connected with the access point. In the successive videos I will be talking more about which packets are getting exchanged between my station and the access point. What all packets present in 802.11 standard. Then what all encryption methods, what are security methods which supported by IEEE 802.11. What are the threats on Wi-Fi networks. You can watch the wireless video series to gain more knowledge about IEEE 802.11 protocol and its security measures. Thank you for this video.